Greetings. How are you? I'm listening. Great to meet you. Ah, I've been expecting you. For the good. You come get the voodoo. Hey, damn. And you are. Light be with you. You come to consult the spirits? Welcome to Orgrimmar. Have you come to serve the Horde? to control alt wow the podcast for those of us who love world of warcraft and love making many alts today is monday august 5th 2019 and this is episode 625 entitled carousel nosebleed i'm a brilliant your host and with me are my two awesome co-hosts hi constructs it's glad it's good to have you back how are you we missed you last week yes yes I'm sad I wasn't here last week because you guys put on a great show. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, happy was, yeah. anniversary and all that good stuff. Thank you. Much appreciate that. I bought noise canceling headphones. Yay! Oh, nice. And how I are you? Myself. How was your week? How's how's the weather? How's everything? The weather is crazy hot. It's 86 indoors. It's 89 outdoors. <laughs> or night. Uh, awesome. If you want Celsius, it's 32 uh, outside and 30 <laughs> inside. All right. Here it's worse than Europe. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. And how are you, Grand Negus? I'm good. Thank you. I had quite a, quite a week, so yeah. Mm. Not not as warm as uh, as where Conspex is, but and it's been raining almost every day for the last week. So yeah, mm. we had a weird microburst here. We're like two or three two miles away. Trees were knocked down. Things were crazy. But here we didn't even have rain. How bizarre! It's what's going on this week. This week we have, um, let me just see, we have a whole bunch, it's it's the month, so we have Dark Moon Fair, obviously, going on, Mm -hmm. and uh, we have, so far still, we have the the, uh, World Quest bonus event, but that ends tomorrow, so... That is replaced by Time Walking Cataclysm. Not including the Firelands Time Walking Raid yet because that starts uh, when we get the next Cataclysm Time Walking with uh, a live 8.2.5. So that's going to be a while still, but... People that might wonder why can I go into Firelands with time walking? It's been announced and all that. That's only happening once 8.2.5 is live. Mm. So don't try to walk into or look for the Firelands uh, uh, NPC, time walking NPC, because that's not there yet. Okay. Also, this week, we start with a PvP Brawl Deep 6. Um, further things for this month, because we are at the top of the month. We have next week starts or uh, unlocks the third and final wing of the LFR um, I think it's the final week <laughs> anyway. So uh, uh, um, that opens on the 13th, 14th, or 15th, depending on where you are in the world, whether you are in U- uh, 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 U.S. Oceanic or Europe or in Asia. Right. Uh, 
Next week, we also have the Battleground bonus event where you get bonus uh, honor from doing Battlegrounds. And on the 16th, we have the new micro holiday that's called Free T shirt Day. Oh, yeah. Where vendors have been spotted in several locations throughout Azeroth selling t-shirts for free. <laughs> there are even rumors oh, I misspelled that. There are even rumors of entertainers launching free second-hand shirts in capital cities. So apparently something like firework launchers or rocket launchers they oh, launch Oh, like when you go to, to hockey games or something and they yeah. shoot them into the stands. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, that is going on on the 16th, as I said. Um, we have the Battle for Azeroth dungeon event and the PvP brawl Arathi Blizzard, both starting on the 20th, so two weeks from now. Mm. We have the Pet Battle bonus event starting on the 27th. And we have to round out the in-game things in, uh, this month, the Trial of Style that starts on the 31st, or so the last day of the month, and it ends on September 4th. Mm. So plenty to do this week. And if that is not enough for you, you can go to the WoW Classic servers on Monday the 12th at 3 p.m. Pacific to act uh, if you have an active subscription you can create up to three characters per WoW account and have their names reserved before WoW Classic releases oh, wow. worldwide on Monday the 26th at 3 p.m. Pacific. Nice. And it is a um, worldwide launch, so like we had with, with a BFA, depending upon where you are in the world, doesn't matter. It's a global launch. So do the math. Take the take your your uh, time uh, zone exchange tool, whatever, whichever you use, and do the math. The launch is uh, the launch time is Pacific time three p.m. Mm. Uh, on the 26th. Um, we will, this is from Blue Post, we will release details regarding realm names and realm types later this week. So you can coordinate with your friends on where to begin your adventure. Oh, nice. If there are a high number of players congregating on individual realms during, during the name reservation character creation process, we will post warnings about the potential for long queues on those realms, mm. giving you time to close uh, to choose alternate realms. Also, please note, character creation will be limited to one only one faction per realm on PvP realms. So the PvP restrictions uh, with regards to one server, one faction apply. After release, the number of WoW Classic characters that can be created per WoW game account will change to the following limits. And those are the standard limits that we 
had back in uh, in vanilla. A maximum of 10 characters per WoW Classic Realm. A maximum of 50 characters across all WoW Classic Realms in your region. Mm. Only one faction per realm on PvP realms. Oh, wow. So if you are on a PvP realm, you can only play one faction or the other. Uh, there is no overlap regarding character limits with WoW, uh, with, with World of Warcraft. So if you have 50 characters in Battle for Azeroth, you can create 50 more characters in World of Warcraft Classic. Wow. So yeah, that's know. that. That's that's uh, a, a given in my opinion because yeah. it's one. It's a new server, and they can't. Why would they want to restrict you on that? So, if you had a paid uh, account that has full fifty characters, that would mean you have to delete some of your max level characters. Right. To create new ones on classic, where that but no other crossover thing ever happens. Just this that would be no. no. Right. Okay, so while wow, classics worldwide release is almost here, so it's time to get started organizing and playing, uh, planning your path to level sixty. Okay, so that happens, like I said, on Monday, August 12th. They don't say how long the, uh, the service will be available for that process. Maybe they're going to be open indefinitely. We don't know, but it sure sounds like it. If they don't say we're going to take them down again, uh, so, yeah. Um, there is one more thing, though, with regards to the WoW service. Last week, on, I think, the 25th of July, we had, they had intended to have a final pre-launch stress test. Right. But they postponed that. And they said they, and we talked about that last week, I think. And they said they were going to update us on when that rescheduled day was to be. Mm -hmm. And now they came out with a new date, and that is August the 8th at 11 a.m. Pacific. And it lasts for. 24, 48, 36, whatever hours, because they don't say anything except it ends on Friday, August 9th. They don't say when on August 9th. Mm. They say it starts at 11 a.m. Pacific on the 8th, but they only say it ends on Friday, August 9th. They don't give us a, a, a time. When, when it ends. So we'll have to see what, what time that is. Um, this test will be available again to all World of Warcraft players with a current subscription or active game time in all regions. So regardless of what region you are, playing at, you will be able to participate in your region's um, stress test, pre-launch test, whatever they call it. And the maximum character level for that test is 15. 50? 5-0? 1-5, 15. 15. Mm. No, it's it, it's quite classic. is is not as easy to get the characters 
uh, leveled up because of the tagging issue. Mm. People run around like like headless chickens and mm. tag everything, even though it's tagged already. Mm. They just, they hit everything as if as if it's their tag, but it's tagged by someone else, so they don't get any experience from killing a mob that doesn't belong to them. So it's wasted time, basically, and that happens quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, there is no shared tag unless you are grouped up, obviously. But right. that is, and, uh, and then you have to do the... Um, you probably have the thing going on where, you know, the loot is round robin or you have to choose mm -hmm. or select which way you want the loot shared. Yep, you can you can select either loot free for all free for or all. Right, or yeah. roll or. And God we've gotten so one. used to not having to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, wow. that's all back. Wow! All all the nice nice things about vanilla are back in classic, obviously. Right. Um, they further say that we've we've finalized the minimum specifications required to play WoW Classic on PC or Mac. Mm. Please note that these are much lower than the minimum specs required to play Battle for Azeroth. Mm. Oh, Recommended nice. specs are the same for both. Mm. So... Um, I'm not going to list them. You can you can check them out on 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 the web page of Blizzard on, on on the blue post. It's like um, they only say that in our hardware testing, we found that we are able to currently run WoW Classic on systems manufactured and released in the 2007 to 2009 time frame. Wow. So people who currently have outdated systems and haven't been able to play might be able to play WoW Classic. That's big. Correct. Yeah. And thanks to improvements in how we build and distribute game data, the hard drive space requirements are actually much smaller than they were in version 1.12 of original WoW. Interesting. So I looked at, at those specifications and one thing, two things actually, uh, and I noticed. Uh, apparently, WoW Classic supports Windows 7, which is about to... Be it's expired, uh, basically. Yeah, run out of support from, right. from Microsoft's side. So that's how old, how, 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 how um, old your system can be, theoretically. And another thing is that with the hard disk space requirements, um, they have a figure that I find insanely low and that is 5 gigabytes 5 gigabytes of of hard drive space is required to play classic that is absolutely insane yes and uh but on the older machines, you could only have 32 gigabyte hard drives. The really old machines, that yeah. was like the limit back in the day. Mm. But yeah. still, that's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if I if I I, I looked at my my World of Warcraft folder. <laughs> yeah. Granted, it has four versions of WoW installed. But since three of them 
have that new technology that is uh, file sharing where the classic uh, the the sorry the uh, the, the uh, normal version and the PTR version they share the data for like everything that is normal like skyboxes and and structures and all that and um, my World of Warcraft folder is almost at 80 gigabytes. Wow. And I ex uh, I, I um, relocated my old screenshots. So only, only, so only the, what's necessary to run the game. The current years, like 2019 screenshots are, are in there. So that is, uh, yeah, five gigabytes. That's, yeah. It, it, it's a testament to how efficient Blizzard is with regards to to building the client and uh, managing the the data and, and and the client. In my opinion. Mm. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. I talked about the name reservation. I talked about the classic test. And I talked about stuff that's going on this week and this month. So, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's we're it. getting busy again. We're definitely getting busy, yes. Well, let's get started. Wait, what? What? Someone, what? someone turkeyed me with a turkey gun. Uh, <laughs> they're How did that even happen? In hopes to find a rogue. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope that gets them the achievement. That's funny. Uh, I've had a fantastic weekend. Wow. It's um, God. very comforting. <laughs> Those battlegrounds where you're not necessarily putting out more damage, but you feel like you're contributing more by pushing all the buttons all at once. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Constructs, what have you been doing in the last two weeks? <laughs> I have been uh, messing around. The first week, I really didn't have much accomplished so I uh, I was uh, <laughs> reluctant to come on the show to say how little I had done mm. um, second week I sort of um, went the complete opposite and I uh, went overboard with the uh, the um, world quest I oh. went overboard with the um, um, what you call it the World Awaits quest where you have to do 20 world quests and then I went overboard because I tried to do the uh, the incursions on seven characters at a time mm. you know like one or two would have probably been uh, more than adequate but I was trying to put the paces through it because what I'm finding is that um, I have too much to do and not enough time and I was preparing for um, the advance of a uh, Dark Moon Fair because I could see that I, my characters didn't have enough fragments oh, for fossils. Uh, the, uh, the fossil digs. Mm. So I was like, uh, how, how do I uh, how do I solve that? And uh, also I'm leveling professions on several servers now. So I've downloaded some add-ons for um, doing professions, and it always reminds me when I turn on my um, mm. when I turn on my uh, profession book. As soon as there's a new recipe available, it says go see your trainer. It, it, it keeps reminding you that way you don't uh, end up forgetting. And um, I was uh, hoping to. Uh, make lots and lots and lots of gold because I downloaded uh, TSM4 and 
it was uh, kind of complicated. Like I, I looked at it and I, I really couldn't figure out how to make heads or tails. So um, it has a little uh, caption underneath the big uh, download thing saying, if you want to be a premium member or if you want to be a Patreon, just give us 25 US dollars a year. So I like, uh, what the, what the heck? I, I go, if I make 25,000 gold the first month, it'll pay for itself. It'll pay, right, exactly. So uh, I probably made 100,000 gold <laughs> in that first week of having TSM. So I'm like, huh. Okay. So it works. And posting just became super, super simple <laughs> because I put a sh- screenshot in the show notes, which you can find at uh, mm-hmm. controloutwild.com. Of you have the screenshot before the post and you have the screenshot after the post. And it's like click, click, two clicks. <laughs> it's, so, it's like, huh. I'm just going to let the economists uh, who really know a lot about um, doing curves and whatnot. And basically, the problem that I never um, installed uh, correctly, my uh, TSM4, is that I never trusted to have the add-on, the desktop add-on to make backups. Mm. What the backups do is they synchronize your auctions to what's going on on the market to the people undercutting you and to what's selling the add-on actually keeps track of when something sells so hour by hour it makes a backup and then it keeps track of somebody undercut you and they also sold after undercutting you so the add-on knows what the correct price is for the stuff so I did not know that. I thought um, I thought TSM was much more simple, but it it really like um, I'll give you like a stupid example. I, I I listed a gray something that's not in the game anymore. It's worth sixteen thousand gold for a gray. So if I sell it to the vendor, it's worth what fifty silver, but. There's somebody aggressively <laughs> listing that item for 16,000 gold. So when I undercut him, he brought his price down by 4,000 gold. And then he probably bought mine, which I'm happy to sell to him. And he'll make his profit, you know, in the long run. Some people have real patience for um, transmog and stuff. And, you know, like I looked at some of the gear I was hoarding. Because, and I, when I say hoarding, I was like, I don't have a leather wearer on this server at that level who's 120 who can wear the gear. So I'll just hang on to it. And then I look at what it's worth on the auction house, 32,000 gold. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your peers. Just listen. <laughs> if somebody wants to buy it. Right. If, Definitely. If, if it looks hot, that's that's all I want. If I'm just, just give me the gold. I'll get my bag space back. And just like, um, just like when I said, um, the, uh, add on from, um, ask Mr. Robot tells you what your worst in bags are, what you can get rid of. Well, TSM basically lets you do almost two to 300 auctions in about 15 minutes. It is just insane. It's just like, Click, 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 click. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And it's like stuff that I didn't know was selling really, really strongly, like uh, Storm Silver Ore. I thought, who would buy Storm Silver Ore? Apparently, that's a hot commodity because it sells for 45 to 75 gold each. But I thought, no, you know, like it's, it's just part of the ore. If you sell Moonlight Ore, even at 16 gold, people don't want it. Right, but the storm silver ore that is used for leveling, that is used by the jewel crafters, that is used. There's a variety of professions like the blacksmith, engineer, and jewel crafter who really, really need a lot of it. 
Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was doing something uh, weird, and it, like it said, you do not have this transmog. I go, well, what's a transmog? It said that you do you not have this ghost armor transmog. Like, that's leather armor. There's no such thing. And I look it up. Oh, there's an item in the game called Ghost Die. I've mm. never heard of Ghost Die. It's all, it's actually a recipe in Phalaris. It's mm -hmm. not always there because it's a limited uh, time recipe. So you have to be there when the vendor has it. Yep. So sometimes you have to sit there for uh, like 12 hours before it'll come up. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's made with the mushroom, right? The, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the ghost mushroom from Outlands. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so, no, no, not... No, 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 no. It's from, it's from, uh, from grows much forty grows, grows in the clay in the cave of Zangermarsh. I know because I picked them there. There's okay, so those. okay, so those are uh, cross cross expansion then because I used to get them in in uh, in the cave up in Jinta Alor. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, uh, I have anyway. to park a, a herbalist out there because. Now gross mushrooms are has commodity. I've looked at some of the transmog. It's seventeen thousand gold for that transmog. Yeah, wow. there are a couple of, of of like like the moral no not moral grain moral like like, there was like a dream dream foil or whatnot. There yeah. are a couple of, of of plants that are cross uh, cross expansion. They grow on Azeroth as well as on on uh, on Outland. So. Yeah. And I've started uh, selling some sharpening stones because mm. you can buy the stones for uh, 20 or 30 silvers and you can sell the sharpening stones for 120 gold. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But that's the price because the formula, like the formula, if you look in TSM, is super complicated. It's over the top complicated. And it's like, this is how much it goes for on your server. So... And from server to server, it'll vary. Because if mm -hmm. you go to the really low population server, sometimes it could be like a thousand gold for like a white item. <laughs> like, why? Because there's none. There's not. So like, there's no way to measure whether it goes up or down other than the history of people who've sold it on your server. Yeah. And, if and you have, if you have the luck to be on a roleplay server, yeah. You can, like, add a zero to any <laughs> of the prices, regardless. Right. That's insane. Yep. Uh, and so I was, um, as I was uh, wandering around the servers, I happened to group up a flying character with a character doing archaeology because I wanted to level quickly. So I'll just take the uh, Vial of the Sands, the Sandstone Drake, to carry my level 33 rogue to uh, uh, an area. And I, as I dropped in front of a rare, I noticed that Party Sync, which Grand Negus talked about last show, <laughs> was enabled on some rares. So my level 120 was looking at this rare, which was also 120, and my level 33 was looking at the same rare, level 33, <laughs> and both DPS, and neither character did more damage than the other. Wow. Everything was proportional to the health pool of the rare. Who hell was that? Redridge. Hmm. There's well, a, they said that party thing is supposed to drop with uh, 8825 so that shouldn't have been the case but uh, anyway. Well all the mobs in Red Ridge were up to level 60 and that mm -hmm. one rare. That's normal 60 is normal but right. the, the rare was 120 okay. So I was like yeah. So when we both DPS hit we both got loot so that was great uh, I didn't get a piece of uh, gear so I can't say whether or not the loot is appropriate to the uh, level of the um, max level. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was uh, immensely satisfying to do the incursions with a leveling character and a max level character 
because they would tag off of each other. The tank didn't matter how much health the um, the like the raid boss had, couldn't one shot like the paladins. Even if the paladin was max level, and it would be appropriate to that level of uh, boss, and then I could DPS with a max level mage or whatnot. And same same thing the other way. My rogue was doing really good, and the uh, the uh, character, which I'm almost I've almost got my first alliance to max on my second account. Two levels to go. Nice. I've got my double XP going. I've got my rested XP. I do my world quest. And I only have one uh, section left for um, the uh, footholds. So after that, I'll have three three out of four um, uh, characters to level. And when you level the the quest that is um, the world awaits, you get a thousand war resources. Mm. Plus, if you've leveled the emissaries, you get 250. Plus, if you've leveled all your tiers of research, you get an extra 50 on top of the 200. So, like, that all adds up to, basically, you're doing 50 missions across three characters, so you can level your characters all the way past green and blue. So your characters turn purple, which at that point they have 30,000 XP to level to the next tier. But the first 50 missions, which are only worth like 100 XP each, they're like really, really easy uh, missions, like the four hour ones. They go really quick. So you can bundle bundle them up to run the characters over and over, even if you don't have a 100% chance or 200% chance to succeed. However, uh, Blizzard has added a restriction to the um, the Moonlight Stone. You are required to be honored with the Honor Bound or the uh, Seventh Legion now to equip it. Whereas before, all you had to do is have a blue slot to fit it in the slot. Now they've added, you also need to be revered. But after four or five incursions, you're automatically going to hit uh, honored. So, um, because when you turn in the quest at the end, you get 550 rep with uh, honor bound or seventh legion if you're on your home territory, or if you're in the foreign soil, like if you're on Kultiris or Z- Zandalar, um, then you get 1100 for human and a thousand for all the other factions. So, a thousand, you get 3000 in the first friendly and then uh, to get to honored you have to get another 6,000 so super easy to get the rep up for that um, I didn't have any time for dungeons this week mm. with the, all the levelings and by Wednesday my wife was ready to pick a fight with me so she lined up the fight for Saturday so Saturday I didn't do any gaming because I pushed the pendulum too far any gamer knows that when uh, shouting happens, you've messed up. In no way, shape, or form should you ever push your spouse or your mom or your uncle or your dad to fight with you. Like, I screwed up. I played too much. I didn't sleep enough. My wife said, you look tired. Like, uh, we worked it out, but basically it was a matter of uh, scaling back and not doing uh as many crazy things and staying up uh, like really, really late into the night to do an extra 20 minutes on an incursion or uh, get up an extra 20 minutes early, which means like leaving five minutes before work starts to get to work and you only have four minutes to walk there. So anyway, um, and uh, Saturday last week, I don't know what happened, but my internet sorted out. It was so hot. And all the ACs were going off in all the buildings all around. So I burnt out two Cat6 cables in my network. So <laughs> I didn't actually have enough cables to supply internet to every computer. So I sacrificed my computer so my spouse could 
play on her computers. Like it's a it's like, well, what do you do? Like if if mama not happy, nobody's happy. So <laughs> trust your instinct. If if nobody's gonna have internet, make sure at least your spouse has internet or your uh, your significant other. It's a very important to keep uh, to keep the other half of the relationship happy. And uh, my f- headgear finally came through. I bought these beautiful Overwatch oh. Man of War Razor headset on discount, twenty eight dollars off at Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. Oh, cool beans! Nice. And they were one hundred forty three after tax, but eh, it's pocket pocket chains and they got like the the volume control and they got the surround sound with like 5.1 so basically if you play overwatch you can hear who's behind a wall who's mm-hmm. on top of the wall and who's breathing right behind you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh when i turn on wow it was so magical you can hear the cricket singing Mm-hmm. Oh, how awesome. like, oh yeah, Nazmir. I love you, Nazmir. And this sound was just beautiful. And I like I like I I had just deleted all my add-ons. So it was like the default built-in 64-bit all the or 128-bit all the way across sound. It was like just incredible. Uh like I spent the day just listening to WoW and like I had three clients going. So like all the different zones and the echoes, it was wonderful. And um, my rogue, I'm trying to level to uh, on that realm that's like low pop because it's really, really handy if you need a rare to be able to hop your character over. But it only works one way. You cannot bring until like there's a critical mass i don't know how it how it happens in the breakdown but you cannot bring a higher level character over to a lower population realm automatically sometimes it'll pull you over to the higher uh, level of the character i think it has to do with they don't want people just to make a level one and then just uh, flood the rp realms so like you said, Grand Nagus, some of those RP realms have like uh, magical stuff in there. The prices are really good. Uh, Living Steel is like uh, three or four times more expensive there because mm-hmm. it's not a many alchemists, I think. And it's easier to control the market if there's fewer players. Um, I had to borrow some money from my spouse to pay the bills because like a brilliant last week or two weeks ago, it was like I was looking at like okay, do I play WoW or do I pay my credit card? Um, honey, <laughs> she, she gracefully spotted me a, a few hundred bucks so like I didn't default on payment. And like, like I have three accounts now. So it is like uh, 45 bucks a month or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I love TSM. I didn't, it did not, it did not grow on me overnight. I tried to install it three times and three times I quit. And it's like the fourth time when they, when I finally paid the premium, it, it there's like a, I don't, I don't want to say a, a tutorial, but as soon as you fire it up, it says you're missing this component. You're missing this component. Do this, do that. Do this, do that. Mm. And then it, it's a big warning window on like one of the tabs. Never write anything in here unless um, one of the consortium has told you specifically to uh, send them along. Don't ever change anything on this page. So it, like it's very <laughs> like there's safeguards, right? And it's uh, kind of like the user's manual when you uh, take out your... Uh, your vehicle, you know, don't uh, don't speed while uh, texting and whatnot. So uh, it was uh, a really, really good week. I'm I'm loving the multi box because now I can leave somebody from my third account at the auction house, and when something sells, I relist immediately, so I could see what is hot that day. Like if it. If I sold something eight or nine times, like within a few hours, I made 8,000 gold on that 
character that just never leaves the auction house. So I can see why some people just spend their whole day in front of the auction house because they make more gold there than they would do questing or doing mm-hmm. whatnot because they're, they understand the market. They're able to seize. Uh, like I, I had somebody undercutting me and the person undercutting me was also the person buying from me. They oh. were trying to get me to lower my price. But if you follow the add-on, the add-on tells you this particular seller is undercutting. If you see the name come up over and over, you start to understand a little bit what's what's going. Cool. It's it's um, it's kind of like having a big brother explain the stock market to you. Right. <laughs> so I was very like having uh, a mentor. Uh, huh? Like having a mentor. Yeah, exactly. And it, it, it wasn't um, like it didn't feel heavy anymore. It's like. Uh, you know, some stuff are like, oh, you know, I could hold on to this, but it's worth 30,000 gold. Why? <laughs> Just mm-hmm. let it go, you know, if I pick it up again, whatnot. And Why? Then other it doesn't options. matter. Other it matters auctions. that you get the gold. Other auctions is just insanely cheap. Like, I picked up a pattern for 56 silver that everyone was selling for. Uh, uh, everyone was selling for 1300 gold but the pattern is a world drop and if you don't know what it is right you will sell it you have no cheap. you have no idea what to, what to list it at mm-hmm. and then i hit the sniper button and then it just said this is a great deal you should you should buy it and i'm like yeah okay mm-hmm. <laughs> i could have relisted it but i like no no i like this is this is actually something useful. I've never seen this recipe before. So I want to learn what it does. So I, I learned it. But it's like, um, there's mm-hmm. just been countless times where instead of playing the game, I was playing the auction house and I wasn't having any fun. Right. Before. Whereas now, I don't care so much about the auction house. I just want to push the button and, you know, let somebody <laughs> else do the thinking. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, and, uh, that makes that's sense. pretty much been my week. Awesome. All right. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh. How you doing? I get excited. I get giddy. I love making mini alts. My dog is trying to poop for the horn. And for the alliance. What's funny on my head? So, Aprilian, how was your week in Walpin? I have been in Surma, and it's, <laughs> it's so funny because Blizzard has given us this wonderful game, which we know. But there's mm-hmm. so many layers. Um, I had spent the last few months in Surma trying to get exalted with the night fallen and I have been all over the place and it's been hard because I don't have flying and now all of a sudden it's it's another place <laughs> even uh, Shaola what is, what is this? Shalaran. Shalaran is different there's more mm-hmm. things to do now I have a portal to follow on and now I am out um Pimping for uh, grinding. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say pimping. Grinding <laughs> for more mana. Um, it's ironic because how many times did I finally, you know, just bypass mana's places mm-hmm. um, because I, I was full or I, I'm, I have so much. But now I need more because now I have to take the withering through Falaron. Um, I've gotten really, really good at the barrel thing, which is nice. Um, oh, that's a good one. I, I really like that one. Yeah, there was a time when I had an add-on that was putting something on it. I don't even know what add-on it was. Um, yeah. But now I can just kind of watch it, and when I you know, do manage to follow it, it's really fun. Um, but now I'm at the point where I need, well, if I have 900 ancient mana, I get 12 withered. 
Um, part of me wants to hold out for 2,000 ancient mana so I can get 20 mm -hmm. withered. But all the other stuff, you know, everything is different. I can see the um, shadow rods coming together, and yeah, I'm I'm exalted, but I'm not. Um, I don't have the allied race yet. Uh, I'm learning just a lot of stuff. I'm learning how to play my um, my uh, warlock better. One mm -hmm. thing that happened, and this is um, news to everybody in Clan of Darkness, is that I changed our leader. Um, the old leader was Tia, mm -hmm. and Tia was on an account that wasn't the same as April or Prillian, and so I made April the head of Clan of Darkness because um, that's an account that I play a lot more, and I felt like it would make more sense. Yes. Um, uh, we, we all went to... Um, Darkland Fair, did all the quests there, and got, um, well, Aprilian had the fossils. And one of the things I realized is that I can take some of these crates to the dude in Dalaran and get some fossils from that. This once is, you are level 600 in yeah, once archaeology, you're level, yes. Yeah. Right, yes. right, exactly. Thank you for pointing that yes. out. Um, April has been playing... Well, one of the things I'm trying to do, and I think, let me see. I know in April, oh, that's the wrong thing. She had um, Grizzly Trophies this week. So what I'm trying to do is do the Grizzly Trophy in the same week, you know. That's, yeah. that's the, the best thing to do. Um, April is doing it, and... and Playing in Suramar is great because you're fighting so many people, uh, yeah, so many yeah, yeah. mobs, so you're going to get your grizzly trophies. Oh, very fast, yes. Yeah. Um, so Aprilian got exalted, and she's, um, let me see, how many? She is 5,992 into getting the, the next nightfall in cash at 1,000, 10,000. 10, yes. Yep, cool. Um, I've gone through Falaron, I've gone in through and out the other side, I've captured, I've done the, the spider stuff, so, um, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I did take out some other, um, other tombs, like Sebastian, um, Sebastian is very special because, uh, he's one of the last members of the original, Ayala, Ayala at the S. And that was fun to take him out and uh, get him up. Uh, it's interesting to look at the roster of Ayala at the S. Like, um, some people haven't played in nine years, mm -hmm. some of the original members. Mm -hmm. um, I will always remember running through uh, um, into um, Undercity in the courtyard there. And somebody inviting me in and, you know, enhancing my experience of World of Warcraft. Um, I do want to take a moment to say, and I, you know, we don't like to be too political or too um, sad. But I've played video games ever since there were such a things in video games. And it's, mm -hmm. it's never made me want to do violence outside yeah. of... The computer realm. In fact, you know, I've, I know you know that I've done some VR stuff, and um, some of the stuff is super realistic. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, when you're in there and you have your gun, and sometimes yeah. when I do shoot an avatar that I know belongs to another human being on the other end, and even though I know that human being is going to pop up somewhere else, it still makes me feel a little bit sad, so I don't think that anything in video games makes anyone do anything outside of the computer realm. And uh, having to say that, I'm learning a lot. I still am confused about this whole insurrection thing, <laughs> the achievement, because nowhere can I find these quests, but 
I know it has something to do with me continuing on with some of these uh, quests with... Uh, I can definitely tell you mm. that a guaranteed way of getting to your goal of getting the achievement of insurrection is to install the WoW Pro add-on. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to boot up Twitch right now. Uh go to wow uh oh, it's not wow in Twitch. pro.com mm. and get the add-on there because the add-on that you get from the Twitch client is only a trial version. Oh, okay. All right, so that means I have to go into... <laughs> oh, and for the record, when we started, I was having problems logging into one of my accounts because mm -hmm. yeah. um, because of I had used my hotspot at work, and then I it was fine when I was using my laptop here, but then when I was trying to log into um, this computer that I use specifically for um, playing World of Warcraft while we game and for my VR it, it, and it's a PC which you know PCs are evil. Anyways um, what ended up happening was I came over to my Mac which is what I do um, the recording on and what I you know was with the Zoom client is on and I logged into Blizzard and it said okay we're sending you a code and I opened the code in my email, entered the code, and now I'm back on again. So good. Hopefully, oh, cool. hopefully yeah. that'll solve my problem. You must be listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Boss I Boss really working for Blizzard, and yeah. we did never do. Yeah. So um, I'm back in. Um, Aprilian is. Let me see. Well, I told you she's she's uh, she's. Well, that's, I'm going to try this. Well, you said wow pro. Wow hyphen pro dot com. Okay. I, um, I know it's crazy, but I even hate to open a browser on my PC. <laughs> I'm not paranoid. You're paranoid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Um, I actually haven't been doing much um, VR lately um, because I really have been enjoying playing World of Warcraft and that's good yeah yeah um, what else have I been doing oh so I, I switched Tia off and now Prillian wow dot Wow hyphen, I'm sorry. Pro. Pro. Dot com. <sighs> okay, well, hopefully. I mean, I know what I have to do, what I probably have to do is unlock some more things. Like, for instance, I noticed that Aprilia can now hold 1,100 um, of the man, ancient mana, when before it was only 800. So as she's progressing, she's doing more quests. And, um,. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, oh, and I have to put this in a screenshot. I have to put the screenshot in the show notes. I should do this right now. When I was in Dark Moon Fair doing the fishing quest, um, there was a ball, like a big ball of earth, like, like a globe. And when you clicked on it, you were fishing. Mm-hmm, yes. You, what that's was a, the, that's an item you get now? I'm not sure. It's somewhere from, um, somewhere from uh, Nashatar. I'm not sure as to what if it's a toy or item. Right, or but something. it wasn't my item. It was something no, no. that yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's an it's an item that people can put, put down. It's very item. interesting. I am going to send you a file. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, loving Dark Moon Fair as usual. 
Um, pulling up some other tunes just to get them out and get them. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm putting it in the show notes. It was very interesting. Can you see it in the show notes? One At first, second. I didn't understand what was going on. Oh, I have to log in. Or can I just download? Okay, let's see what happens. All right, and that's been my week. I'm still in Surmar. I'm still trying hard to get my Night Fallen um, quest line done. Yeah, uh, I sent you. I sent you the the zip file with the add-on. Well, I just downloaded it. So. Okay. Okay. And I don't. I don't have email on this computer. <laughs> okay. I know it's kind of weird. I'm kind of like this. My VR PC is You're like the ultimate this. protection of. Uh, well, have you been have you been watching in. Elementary? Ah, oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Too much. Right. He's so good. Yeah, but it's just like like it's so much that certain people can do with. Our information. No, no, no spoilers, please. I only watched the first three seasons because oh. four or five we don't have yet. Mm. Okay. And and how are you dealing with Jodie Whittaker? Are you up to date on, with her yet? Uh, with the doctor, yes. You like her? <sighs> For me, uh, I've I've had issues with the 12th Doctor for quite a while. It took me about a season and a half to, to, to accept him. Right. And I think it's the same thing. And I think I need at least a couple of more episodes. Well, you know what's interesting? And I'm sorry, I know this isn't control out Doctor Who, but it's been very interesting is that I have gone back to... Um, some YouTube things about different doctors. And mm -hmm. it was interesting to find out that when Pertree, Pertree had been around for five years, and when he decided to move on, Tom Baker was controversial. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? And people were yes, like, no. wow, he's just too much, and he's too loud, and he's too... This. Or that or the other, yeah. Right, right. But but he's Tom Baker. What are you talking about? And then he turned out to be like the longest running. He was seven years. And but, but in retrospect, it's always <laughs> different. So. Right, right. And and it's funny because um, I was watching an interview of him now, and he was he was asked um, if he felt like he wanted to be remembered as an actor or as Doctor Who and he goes, no, I want to be remembered as Doctor Who and, <laughs> and that even when he was Doctor Who he was just being Tom Baker when he was hired and I'm sorry, and this will be the last thing I'm going to say when he was first hired as Doctor Who, he was actually an out of work down on his luck actor and I mean you know, <laughs> so it's interesting, and, and the whole Doctor Who persona is interesting because eventually we come to, you know, embrace them, except for Eccleston, but we won't go there. Anyways, that's been I'm my not week. Sure. Eccleston, I, I didn't think he was that bad at Doctor. He was, it was, I could have, I, I could have had another season of him. I just thought he was too serious. I don't too, think so. But he was Batman. He was Batman Doctor. And, and and that brings me up, and I'm just going to go on this round, this one round circle. I like black leather coats, let's put it that way. Right, but he was like, you know, <laughs> you don't mess with me, I'm I'm Doctor Who. When, mm -hmm. when everybody else was more self-deprecating and more like, you know, I'm just this person, or well, I was going to say just this guy, but now we can say just this person. But it was funny because there's an episode of Big Bang Theory where... Adam West is talking about all the other doc, all the other Batman, <laughs> and it's just funny to. It's the, almost the same thing, you know. He was like saying, "Oh, Christian Bale, I put him at the bottom," and and mm -hmm. how I never had to say I'm Batman. People just knew when I showed up in my suit <laughs> mm -hmm. that I'm Batman. But anyways, yeah, it's been a great week, and. Uh, 
and I'm having fun, and I'm playing a lot. I'm playing so much that I'm not playing VR, which is amazing. And that's been my week. Wow. Nice week. Yes, nice week. I find it very, very easy to be true. I... I'm on a Schoenstein forest of Sue House. And now it's time for add on spotlight and a whole bunch of other things from Grand Nagus. Grand Nagus, what do you have for us this week? Oh well, I I'm not sure as to what add on I want to talk about. I just want to to talk a little about TSM maybe with constructs. Okay, and, that sounds and good. Talk, talk a little more about the, the WoW Pro add-on. For you, the WoW Pro add-on, you go and install it, and then you you choose your you go into the the uh, interface uh, and select the add-on tab, and then you scroll down to WoW Pro, mm. and there's the plus next to the WoW Pro base and you open that and then you go to guide list and then you scroll, you choose the uh, up at the top, you choose the leveling tab and then you scroll down and you double click on Suramod. Okay. And then the window will pop up for the guide from Suramod and you just follow that mm. Uh, step by step. Okay. That's all you need to do. So, and if uh, anyone wants to use another guide for another zone, you just double click on the respective zone. It will, uh, it has uh, the zone listed, the range, the level range and then the author, which isn't important for you, and then it has the progress in number of steps. Meaning, go here, uh, accept quest is one step, waypoint one is two step, waypoint two is three step, go kill mob one of four, say, is four step, and then the next and so forth. It takes you step by step by step, it tells you exactly what to do. Uh, it basically, it takes you by the hand and guides you. That's what, what it's supposed. What a guide is supposed to do. So that's what yeah. it does. And uh, it will give you in that little window that you get. It will get you additional information. Say there is a you uh, are on a step that is get some. Um, some artifact power from a from a box from a from a chest, and the chest is in an underwater cave. It will tell you uh, with a marker that is a ring that is like multicolored. It will tell you exactly through that marker where the entrance to that cave is, and it will give you that marker. Uh, it will have the TomTom -tom add-on. If you don't have the TomTom -tom add-on, you can install that and use that as well. Mm. That you can get from Twitch. Uh, yeah, from Twitch. And uh, it, the uh, WoW Pro add-on will interact with, oh, cool. with the TomTom. -tom. So it will give you the arrow through TomTom -tom to the next waypoint. And uh, it will tell you to go to this or that set of coordinates uh, to go and then dive into the cave and then find the whatever you need to find there according to the guide. Mm. So it's really a step-by-step -step thing. If there is a, a thing where you need to watch out for a sort, certain type of 
the mob or whatnot, it will tell you, go do this, go do that, watch out for this. Uh, with it, it's really comprehensive. It's really it's almost foolproof. Excellent. I only get confused if I don't read what the what the guide says. Mm. It it happens to me too, and then I'm just saying, oh, really, can't you just read what the guide says and do that and not go off and do what you want to, but rather what you're supposed to do? That's like how I see it. It's, the guide knows best. There are the occasional issues where, for instance, if you want to quest through, I think it was Red Ridge, the guide will tell you, alert, this guide is out of date, use it at your own discretion. Mm. So there are like issues with some things that haven't been updated, but it will alert you to that. So right. you can, if you have uh, professions you want to level or you want to, to do, there are certain professions that have guides for that too. So, um, if you do, let me just think, uh, where is it? Um, it will, it will tell you, uh, that, wait, there is the, oh, uh, there it is, there wow, are, wow. Hmm, excuse, excuse me. Oh, I had to go all the way out after yeah, I moved it into to, the... Course, you, have to, you have to leave the game completely, yes, right. to have have the add-on uh, be activated. So, um, yeah, that is basically how, how the add-on works. Okay. If you don't see the window, the, um, the mini-map button for it is a little panda head. Mm. So look for that. And it says WoW Pro. So just click on it to enable and again to disable it. Mm. As for, for a TSM, I'm definitely, I definitely want to, to uh, chat with you later, Constrax. Yes. Like I said earlier, in our, at our break, I want to... And just to point out that there are many levels of add-ons. There are add-ons that are free. Most of yes. them are. And they're good. And they're, I mean, I guess people make money off of them some way or another. Or just as a training thing. And then there's yes. something like TSM, which has a subscription. Because it has more features, and the subscription enables the developer to make a better product. Mm. And some people aren't averse to uh, using credit cards on the internet. Right. TSM is all about using um, PayPal. So they're trying to keep the cost as low as possible. Mm. That's good. So, yeah, I mean, there are, there were so many, so many ways and most of the add-on, including WoW Pro is absolutely free. Mm -hmm. There are guides that cost money, either a one-time uh, buy-and-play option or a or a uh, monthly or or uh, annual fee. But again, choose whatever you want. Right. I'm not going to promote stuff that costs money. I'm going to tell them that there are people that there are options that cost money, but I would much rather talk about, and it's not because I uh, detest people that create add-ons that cost money. It's just that I want to talk about stuff that is most accessible. Right. Right. I, if there are like 
people that want to spend money on an add-on that I talk about. And, then, and of course, there are a lot of add-ons that have donation buttons and stuff. Oh yeah, sure. But yeah, sure. That that's always the case. But there are so many other things mm. that 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 uh, have donation buttons. But like, again, for instance, Control Out Wow podcast has a donation button on our Control Out Wow dot com page. Correct. <laughs> so, so uh, that nobody but, ever pushes. But if you if you have to buy something and many people either don't want to or don't have the funds to do it. Right. I would much rather talk about an add-on that is free mm -hmm. and that theoretically everyone can use without right. having to 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 uh fork over money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, and thereby have a, a bigger audience for the add-on. And uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that's what, I, what I want to go with. Again, like I said, uh, like you said, Aprilian, I don't think, I don't even think that there is any add-on author that, that doesn't uh have a a uh, a patreon or a or a donation button and rightfully so people that want to uh help them with their development should have an option to do so should, should have an option should go and do it by all means right but it should be an option, option and yeah. not a mandatory thing right so that's that's my my take on it. Uh, TSM again, like there is the add-on uh, with the website called uh, Ask Mr. Robot. That's another thing where the base version is free, and if you want premium content, right. you can pay for it. But that but you don't is, have to. You still get some usability. Okay, you get most of the of it. And one thing that I totally that I really like is that if there is a big guild or a guild that is like semi big, like say 100, 150 people account, you can go and contact. The people at at Ask Mr. Robot, mm -hmm. and they let me just see before I um before I say something that is maybe out of date. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. So, um, I, but let's let's get back to that later. Um, I want to uh, go ahead and first before I I, I find this uh, that this is um, so my week. Um, <laughs> I am or I did start with. Hellfire Citadel, nice solo for the first time mm. after 8.2 came out. They that's when they when they changed some thing in the, the they made the first uh, encounter in the raid soloable. Before 8.2, it wasn't possible to solo the first boss the first boss because the mechanics. That are part of the the first boss fight were just not soluble. You had to be at least two places at the same time, literally to defend two spots in the area, and that that, that isn't possible. Even with the fastest speed boost, you couldn't get back and forth 
between the two spots or three fast enough to to defend those areas mm. and to do what you had to do that was just not possible so what they what they did is they uh, they made the um they made some of the um oh, come on they made some of the fight um easier where the some of the um vehicles were slowed down mm-hmm. okay and some of the mechanics apparently taken out or something like that so i'm i'm not sure as to as to what that is but uh for me it was quite easy i and way easier than i had expected i had thought it was a, would have been a little challenging but basically what you have to do and the only thing you have to do is kill the the, the mobs in the in the area there in the in the uh, uh, where you come in and then eventually when when the vehicles show up you have to destroy them pick up a crate of ammunition and take that up to one of the two big cannons so they get loaded up and start sh- uh, shooting at the or firing at the gates because that's the, yeah. that's your your goal is to destroy the front gates of the of the citadel and uh, if one of the two cannons get destroyed you lose oh no it's a dp it's an upside down dps race you're defending the cannons so they can knock down the wall yeah exactly <laughs> so if if both get attacked at the same time and you can only be at one at any given time obviously the mo- the mobs whack the other one down right. and i would imagine that they also took down the damage that they do by quite a bit the the mobs so the cannons would survive longer so you had the chance to get back and forth between them so something like that and um Yeah, with that, I uh, got into the to the raid solo for the first time. Like I said, uh, they reduced the damage uh, loss cost. Says the cannons take, yep, and increase the damage they do to the gates. Okay, so that makes sense. So you only need. Instead of maybe 10 ammunitions delivered to the cannons, you maybe only need three or five or something like that. So that, that makes total sense. Um, with regards to the stuff I did in the Hellfire Citadel, my goal, um, one, the, the major goal was to get a mount in there. I can't remember what the name of the thing is, but uh, it didn't drop from Archimond at the end. Mm. So I have to go in again, probably again and again and again, because... Is yeah. that the Moose Mount? <laughs> no, the Moose Mount was a... Grove Warden? No, you already have that one. Yeah, but no. The Moose Mount was a... Um, pre-launch event only, where or, or, or up until the the the, the pre-launch ahead of the curve, party. ahead yeah. of the curve achievement. Was it that? Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, yeah I got the like, yeah. rewarded. I didn't have to pay for it. Somebody carried me. Yeah, <laughs> I hit yeah. something and then I died in the fire. Yeah. yeah. Um. Thank you, Lost Cause, the Fell Steel Annihilator. That's the... the oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, that's the one you get from from uh, from Akemon. The, the 
mini Felriva new model. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that one I really want. I must say, uh, yeah. Um, so what did I get in the raid? I got about five pieces of transmog. Oh, I nice. went in there with my rogue. I got two for my rogue, two for the monk, and one for the druid. Because they're all leather pieces, leather wearers, and yeah. they have uh, some items that are obviously not set items, so they are interchangeable, but they're still part of sets, but they're not part of tier sets. So you can loot them and learn the appearances cross-class, so to speak, mm-hmm. as long as they stay within the, the uh, armor type. So that's what I got. Two rogue, two monks, and one one to it. In addition, I got... In a pear tree. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, I got several achievements uh, in, in uh, Hellfire Citadel. Uh, yes. I got five achievements. Uh, and that leaves me... Well, uh, of five of the special game mechanics achievements. So don't I, I didn't count the completion of the wing or the mythic uh, boss kill or the total uh, completion clear achievements. Those I didn't count. It's just five of the special uh, mechanics requirements thingies that you that, that you get like one of them for instance is um, is echo of doom fire mm. which defeat Archimond in hellfire citadel with doom fire still alive what or who that is I have no idea but that's beside the point so five of these special uh, special achievements that are part of the uh, meta achievement that is called um, let me see Dranor Raid it is called oh we're doing this live guys we're doing we're it live doing, we're doing it live folks uh, wrong tab even so. hero of the no it's not hero glory of the hellfire raider so I only need four more of the achievements now to complete the meta achievement and get the mount reward that is the infernal direwolf. Nice. And I'm going to work on that uh, over the next weeks. Uh, not sure as to if I can solo it completely, but... Uh, uh, I'll do my very best. There's at least one that I won't be able to solo because apparently you need to go in for one, you need to go into uh, the belly of Gorfiend yeah. and uh, kill the one of the special uh, ghosts in there. Mm. And uh, that I won't be able to figure out, so I need someone to help me there. But that's not for now. So that's uh, something that uh, I have to look for. But again, going to work on that over the next weeks and progress reports will be coming. Um, as for another progress report, and that will be on the balance of power that I've been working on for the last month or so. I uh, need to do the final raid runs now. So I'm done with everything that is dungeon and I'm done with everything that is outside of raids. All I need to do now is run the Nighthold raid repeatedly. 
I have three quests to do there. Two are one run, uh, like run, kill, loot, and done, achieve, turn in. Mm. Um, I need to get a item from Elisander, the uh, 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 from from uh, uh, from the second to last boss, and I need to uh, get the eye, one eye, I think, from from uh, Gul'dan. That's uh, uh, those are the two. Uh, kill loot and and turn in quest and then the third one is the one that's going to take a little mm. time because there were two issues there. I need to collect 20 I don't know something shards but uh, you get only get one per per boss kill and I can only solo five of the bosses mm. uh so there is there is that I cannot uh, get more than than five bosses down. So I need to do this uh, four times in all, and then uh, and the uh, uh, fourth time I need I need help because I need to get and do uh, uh, kill the, the up up till the last boss kill up to and including uh, Gul'dan. So the issue that I have is there is one boss that has a mechanic uh, that is not so local. And that's the if pe people that know it's the boss uh, in the water that uh, destroys the, uh, the pier that you fight on. Andreas. I'm not sure as to what his name is, but that's the same guy that we fight against on the... Drops the recipe for a mount, which is called... Um, oh, I can't think of the name now. Stone's got it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a blacksmithing mount. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful mount. Okay. But yeah. I'm on my rogue right now, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. It's yeah. made with demon steel bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that mechanic that smash, smash the the pier on which we stand uh, is is not soluble apparently. Uh, I've died twice to it, and uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. So, um, and if I can't get past that boss, I can't get to the next ones. So I'm not sure as to if I can solo any other ones, but again, bottleneck, I can't get past that one, so. But if, yeah. I, if, I'm, if I'm around, you can always hit me up for Tychondrius, because I want the recipe. Oh, Tychondrius, I, I, I defeated already. Oh, never yeah. mind. He was the okay. last one I could solo, so. Oh. But we can do that next week. You are welcome to come along. Yes, it's stuff. Um, so, um, progress report on my challenge tunes. Thankfully, no deaths this week. Oh, congrats. Oh, thank you. So, the Iron Man Hunter, level 36 currently. Nice. Green Man's Shaman Dark Iron, level 28. Shaman Torrin, 19. And... Warlock, Forsaken, level 12. That's the newest one I created a couple of days ago. Took him to level 12. And uh, yeah, that was, that was okay. Um, Bloodthirsty, the Hunter, level 16. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with the, with the challenge progress that I made. Um, 
this last week. Uh, and speaking of challenges, I was uh, on the Wow Challenges podcast, right. episode 177 on Saturday. Oh, excellent. Uh, thank you, Lita and Chris, for, for having me. It was a lot of fun to, to, to chat with them. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, and if you are interested in the wild challenges, uh, next week, the uh, Lita revealed last or announced uh, last Saturday that we will have a contest starting next Saturday, mm. a new challenge contest. We don't know what it is. They only teased it. So they do that from time to time. That teasing. So if you listen, yes. yeah. you'll find out. Yeah. So we have to tune in on Saturday, episode 178, to find out what the contest is all about. Um, and... The last topic, I created a new mount. I created a geosynchronous word spinner for myself. Oh, nice. Nice. And, uh, That's yeah. some coinage there. Mm. Excuse me? That's some coinage there. Oh, yeah. Six, mysteries must have set you back. 60K, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, the three mysterious orbs, yeah. That's no small investment, but but I always I, I, I've wanted the mount for quite a while, and I look I did some some uh, reshuffling with regards to the fact that I created a uh, a new guild on on the server my main. Uh, uh, archaeology no, not archaeology, alchemy uh, tune is at mm. and uh, she had 18 living steel so nice. since that was the bottleneck yeah. and 18 is greater than 12 which are the required uh, is the required number, mm. amount yeah. of living steel you need for the for the mount, I thought, okay, why not? So I went and and got myself the other uh, components to it and crafted it, and I got myself a geosynchronous word spinner. Yay! Cool means. Yes. Thank you. And that's been my week. Awesome. Great. All right. Yes, it's time for email now. Email, folks. Email, You've got mail. Email. Who's next? I'm addicted to you, baby. Well, we have a treat this week. Uh, I have uh, I'm Facebook friends with uh, Carly, and he mentioned playing WoW again, and I said. Audio, please. <laughs> and he complies, so I, uh, I, I'm excited. I haven't heard it yet, but we have an audio from one of our favorite people, Curly. Let's listen to Curly's audio. Hello, Control Alt. Wow, this is Curly here with Azeroth from me, or whatever we're going to call it right now. So, yes, it has been forever and a week since I'd sent anything in. I apologize, but my computer is really like a piece of junk that doesn't play WoW very well. It takes me like a minute to zone into anything. I've been kicked out of dungeons before they even load. Everything's on one, blah, blah, blah. So I really haven't been playing all that much. Um, however, I've decided to put my, my woes on a stick. I don't even know what that means. I just made it up. 
And today I will be playing PvP on all my underplayed tunes, which amounts to like, what's actually saying tomorrow? I don't feel very well this weekend, so I think I'm going to lay low and do this. So this roughly amounts to PvP on maybe 40 different tunes. Now, <laughs> laugh as you may how this works out is uh, I will just go up and down my little list, uh, select a tune, uh, go into a BG. Now, mind you, I don't even know how to play half these things anymore, but still what? It's fun. Um, and just do one PvP and win or lose, out, and then on to the next one. That's it. Um... If no one has listened to the instance that was put out on Monday from uh, Frog Pants Studios, there is a great discussion about the whole Mark Turpin thing. Um, I was kind of blindsided by that. I never expected anything like that to come out through this whole, um, to, through any of this business. Um, Although, thinking back to some of the ways that he could talk, maybe we shouldn't be surprised. But um, how they handle it and, you know, how they talk about it is really excellent, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but that's about it. Uh, so since I've last sent this submission, not much. I, I, you know, I'm still at the job I like a lot. Um, still living right outside of Boston. Um, still need to le le lose about 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope all is well with everybody. So I'll just go on and say it. Ciao for now. Where's the off button? No, seriously, where's the off button? Well, Curly, it's good to hear from you. We understand um, things happen. And yep. speaking of, uh, you know, low computer, maybe um, Vanilla Wow might work for you. you know? um, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe you can can find a new home, so to speak, on on Classic WoW, yeah. Right, yeah. And uh, as far as the other thing you were talking about, have we heard about this? Nope, I don't right. even know what he's talking about, if okay. I'm honest. Right. If anybody knows, let us know. But, uh, yeah, thank you for for giving, for, for sending in a, a, a submission. We really, really appreciate it. And I don't. I I think I listened to maybe two episodes of the instance over the time that it exists. I've I've like I said a couple of times before, since I'm I, I started playing on the EU side. Mm -hmm. I never really got into the the instance hype mm. because it wasn't the thing for me. The first. Six, seven years I played the game. I mean, I have to say that one of the first, they were one of the first podcasts I listened to. Yeah, I, 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 I pretty much like 60, 70, 80 percent of the people that play WoW are similar to you. But there wasn't much else but the instance in the right. beginning, maybe all things Azeroth, but, uh, but one of the things I one of the reasons why I created Control Out Wow is because they were more into the Uber. There was a certain yeah. way of playing. And sometimes they made fun of people, which I didn't like, because I thought that, you know, we're just out here learning ourselves. So, But, I mean, they, they were the pioneers. So um, whatever that thing that's going on, I hope it's, a po it's not a bad thing, and I hope they can work it out. <laughs> Um, but we have a we also have a Kyle. Um, nice. And, a Kyle. Yeah. And Kyle writes Hello everyone. This week can be summed up by the phrase a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of that, 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 that. I have been doing Mechagon Mechagon dailies and oops, I'm being attacked. Oh shoot. Uh, and rares uh, to hopefully get the loot I need to finish a quest for the Mecha Spider Mount. Ooh, that sounds cool. Um, I have also been leveling up my Hunter on Earthen Ring and am now in Pandoria with her. Finally.
Lately, I have been doing occasional world quests and such on my Alliance tune to raise Seventh Legion rep. Oh, okay. Nice. Very In order to finish off the war war, war campaign for my achievement and mount. Hope you all have had a great week and continue to be awesome in this next week. This week's Blast from the Past is from episode 381. Enjoy, Kyle. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Let's listen to Kyle's Blast from the Past. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Control All Wild. The podcast for those of us who love World of Warcraft and love making many alts. Today is Sunday, August 3rd, 2014, and this is episode 381 entitled, We Don't Leave Home Without It. I'm Aprilian, your host, and with me are my three awesome co-hosts. Good morning, Tidra. Or good evening. Good morning. Oh, hi, Tidra. <laughs> In my head, I was thinking Lita, and I said, Tidra, well, good morning, Tidra. I probably shocked you. (laughs) Good morning, Lita. How are you? We we must do this. You're just throwing me for a loop. But I'm great. Mixing it up. Yeah. It's what I do. I did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Rogue Slayer, how are you today? Lovely fighting the crowds at the Dark Moon Fair. Yes, isn't it nice? And Tidra, how are you and the chat room? <laughs> I'm fine. And the chat room is good, except I just lost it for some reason. Oh, no. Um, but I believe, unless somebody new has joined, it's Mata, Grand Nagus, Belacarn, and Grim Rockums this morning. <laughs> there it's back. Yes. <laughs> Hi, chat room. Hey, Yay, chat, room. chat room. You know, uh, you mentioned earlier that you almost clicked to go to um, Ogremar mm-hmm. for to go to the Dark Moon Fair. Yeah, I've always done this. I have a mage, and we all. I always port. I don't know. It, I think it's fifty fifty because you still have to fly either way, and you still have to go to the portal. And ne- when you go to Thunder Bluff, you have to man- maneuver your way. Out of the the um you know the that cavern. cave yeah the caverns and then fly over so I guess it's well you you save fifty silver <laughs> <laughs> nice so what do you think chat room Thunder Bluff or Ogremar for Dark Moon Fair just curious as I'm flying now around um, Thunder Bluff trying to get to the the little patch. I'm, I don't know, 50-50? I mean, you do have to do two steps, but when you come out, when you still have to go out of the tunnel at Ogremar, so I guess it's probably better to go to Thunder Bluff. But thank you, because I've been going to Ogremar all this time. <laughs> Ooh, but do I have flour? It's probably easier to get supplies, too, at Thunder Bluff, because you, know, you have to go Grand to Rockham the- says Thunder Bluff. Grand Nagus says Dalaran. Dalaran, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm. Dalaran, and then what? You still have to go somewhere. To else. Grand Nega says anytime he does a portal, has to portal somewhere, he does Dalaran. Well, um, isn't there a Dark Moon Fair person in Dalaran? in Dalaran? There is. I don't know. I think mm. there is. I think is it in the center? It's in the center bit. I think actually. No. Um. I don't know. Is there? Okay. I am in Dalaran, having just arrived. Okay. And we have uh, a I live took, reporter. Rose yep. I, live from Dalaran. <laughs> I took yes. the, I just stepped off the portal from the shrine <laughs> and I landed and I went out the door that I face when you come through the portal mm-hmm. and ran right into a Dark Moon Mystic Fair Mage. There's oh. one for each faction. Oh. Okay. Awesome. So now you know. Now you know. <laughs> For something different, I've been on the Timeless Isle and I have been killing Death Adders. And finally, <gasps> finally, 
<laughs> I got my death handle and a yeah! Awesome. The RNG loves you. <sighs> so finally. that's yeah. my screenshot is when I finally got it. And um, so here's the stats. Death Adders, I killed 1,966 <laughs> of them oh my God. to have the Imperial Python spawn 60 times for me. Wow. That 60 times it spawned that I actually killed it. Oh. So, um, so yeah, so that's a pretty, pretty cruddy drop away. And I was really lucky because I had a couple of friends whisper me and go, Grats, you finally got one? Excellent. I've got like three and I got them in about 10 kills. And I'm like, oh, that's I'm not good. talking to you. You're on a like, no. Yeah, it's like, don't Sorry. share that stuff. That's me. Yeah. Yeah, right? Exactly. So, so that was... Uh, that was, I was just like, okay, that's, that's awesome. My luck with uh, Hulon Fiesel, I'm up to 160 kills on him and still no luck. So yeah, he can go die in a fire, which he does every time I kill him, but you know. Um, Warbringers, I've been taking out some of the Warbringers and again, no luck. <laughs> no luck on them. So once again, my RNG is fantastic. Focus uh, on the death adder. You got the death adder. I know. I know. I got. So I've added one thing to my need a bigger bag achievement. So <laughs> yay. So I think I only need 17 more things now. So oh. it's it's slowly. Yeah. You're getting I know. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting there. But this is a don't be a dick reversal. So it had a happy ending. So I, I, I did get this person, Valisonia, on Proudmoor, uh, at the Battle for Gilneas. While we're sitting there in the holding tank, you know, the little fenced off area waiting for it to start. She was clearly inspecting everyone and, and complaining, <laughs> why are people still wearing 1 to 85 BOA gear? Um, you know, I'm like, okay, maybe you should talk about me because I have two of those pieces. But you know what? I am 85. It's 1 to 85. I've replaced some of my, I'm still, I didn't set and bother engaging, you know, in chat, but I'm like, you know, I, I, I swap out things when I get something better, but I'm going to hold on to it as long as I can because I get a 10% XP boost for every single one of these pieces, you know, and uh, hello, I'm trying to get my honor. So I'm at a battleground trying to get this in better gear. So whatever, she went on for a while and somebody else engaged and, and she's like, well, you know, people are trying to get it and, you know, to go, oh, it's so easy. It's 30 gold at the auction house. And, this other guy's like, well, then why don't you send them 30 gold <laughs> and help them out? You know? nice. And uh, so she shut up for a while and then we were doing really well. And, and I have to say, she, she took the initiative and she went back into, into the, the raid chat and uh, said to, to everybody, I'm really sorry. I was being such a prick before. This is a really good group. So I thought that was nice. It was a, wow. a, a don't be a dick reversal. They realized that they were uh just being an ass <laughs> and came yeah. back and we got the battle for Gilneas victory. And I did find nice. it amusing that every time I died, um, this person and I were both at the lighthouse and every time I died, huh? She was dead too. We both kept resurrecting at the same time. So oh, wow. take your super <laughs> gear and go see the, the angel of death. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I don't even get it. Why even worry if nobody's dying or if you're dying, just as yeah, much yeah. as everyone else, you know. But I always loved um, her uh, uh, Rogue Slayer's Don't Be a Dick segment. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I remember being, you know, inspected much frequently. You know, one of the things I used to carry around as a hunter was the big sword from uh, Citadel, Hellfire Citadel. That you yeah. Got. And I just like the way it looks. Of course, now it doesn't matter as much because you can transmorg. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, people inspecting other people are just really funny. Uh, thank you, um, Kyle. Kyle. I know. Sorry, something was going on on my screen <laughs> all of a sudden. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, we enjoy the flash from the past, blast from the past. Yeah. And, and shout it's still out. And it still hasn't changed. The shortest way to the Dark Moon Fair is if you teleport to Old Dalaran, 
fall down the stairs, turn slightly to the left, and there are the two dark moon fair mages. Right, but it has to be old Dalaran. No. Like I said, the old Dalaran. Dalaran. And the ring doesn't cost more than 7 or 8k. When I, whenever I decide... What ring are you talking about? The, 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 the 30-minute cooldown to teleport to Dalaran. Yeah, the band, oh. the band of the Kirin Tor. Oh, yeah, right, right. You can, you can buy that in the gem shop, in the jeweler, jeweler's shop. You don't need an upgrade for it. You just need the base ring. Mm. And uh, any tune that... I decide to play semi-seriously will get that ring because we always go back to to Dark Moon Fair. A lot. And it's just, and, and like Construct says, it's a 30-minute cooldown. You have a one-hour uh, rebuff, so you'll use it every hour for, for, for the entire week. Right, right. It is a good investment. Mm. It really is. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks, folks, Leia, Tidra, and Lita. <laughs> and now I get to play this. We're Clan of Darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. We've all been there. It's the same old boss. Why should we care? We're clan of darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? There's nothing that we can't face. Except for money. Contract. How are the clans of darknesses? And well, it seems like the uh, clans of darkness have gone mad with leveling. Oh, great! <laughs> Craziness, I tell you. Right. Uh, at level ten, we have Matarina. We also have a little bit green. Oh. that's on realm, I think. Uh, at level twenty, we have working dreams on Northern Rain. Mm. At level we all also have level little bit green. I think that's on uh, Winterhoof. Mm -hmm. At level 30, we have Effortless. At level 60, on Earthen Ring, we have Green Adelic. At level 60, we have Sky Green. <laughs> At level 70, we have Matarosa. Mm. Level 80, we have Greta and Matarosa. At level 85, we have Matarosa. Level 90, we have Matarosa. Level 100, we have Matarosa. Wow. Level 10, we have Matarosa. And there could be more levelers, but it actually scaled all the way down to the end of the page. I couldn't read all the names of all the levelers. Oh, okay. Well, shout out to everybody else who has leveled and we can't see it. Everybody's putting a big effort. We can see that right, right away. Oh, yeah. Level. With all the greens, with the new working man challenge that got introduced a while back, which I really think I'm going to try sometime soon. Uh, it's such an such a cool idea. Mm. So, yeah. Awesome. How did they put it the other day? Uh, it's uh, I can't remember the phrase. Uh, that they use, but 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 they mixed, they mixed two two names. It's like a killing killer pacifist or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because the pacifist can 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 learn learn professions. Okay. Yeah. And the. Iron Man can kill. So that's what it is. It's literally a the pacifist part where you can learn professions as an Iron Man. That's basically what it is. Mm. The working man. So it's a killer pacifist. Yeah. Excellent. 
Excellent. If you want to call it that. <laughs> awesome. And once again, we want to do a shout out to Stone and Wild Challenges and Wild Challenges Podcast for providing this extra little uh, push, making the yep. game more fun and interesting. Stone and Gita and Stir and, and Chris. Zort and Chris and Nisi and all of them. Yes. And, and May the I other ask one an thing. question. Mm-hmm. Since you're both engineers, mm-hmm. oh. next to the neck engineer chopper crafting thing, in the window, there's a little one dash two. Does that mean you have the possibility of crafting two choppers for the price of one? Mm-hmm. Good question. Because I got all I, bats. I saw that. Let me- let me just check something. It's in the recipe book. I don't know if it's like a glitch or if it. Yeah, I saw that some somewhere else where it wasn't supposed to be. There wasn't supposed to be a a a two because it was a. And I I thought, huh, hmm. this is strange because the item that the two was on was a soul bound item right so, so why would you make, make two sense. so you would never make two you would I, I wouldn't need two because I couldn't sell them and yeah. I only need one so yeah yeah uh, I confirmed that the two mages are still in Dalaran and they're still uh, quibbling with each other <laughs> <laughs> yep awesome yep. That, right. that they can do very well and I'm going to head over to K3, um, always passing by the flight path of the Time Lost Proto Drake. Whenever I see it, I put a, a, zone, a zone call, but basically I haven't seen it since the last time we saw it all together. Right, we did the mass uh, uh, acquirement. That was like that was somebody fun. who was explaining to me uh, how to do it to share to kill. And like I never had such a uh, rich conversation about rare mounts or rare things, but it's like I I see what you're saying. Mm. It says the same thing for me. It says one to two. Yeah. Yeah. And that's they're so bound. No, of oh, course not, because it's a mount. Oh, oh. okay. That is a very very interesting. Um. Yeah. I have the mats I'm going to buy from the, uh, the the goblin up in the, uh, the Snowblind Hills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, you always have to buy the exhaust pipe first because it's limited item. If somebody else comes along, you have to wait for it to respawn. No. Uh, the the element, ex- element inflated exhaust pipe is a time limited item. Yes. But... You can go to the goblin in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. He sells those items as well. Oh. Uh, he does not have the crystal lace vial for the Vial of Sands, unfortunately. No, I'm saying... He has all the parts except one for the Vial of Sands. Okay, yeah, but, so but, the, the but, we, but we're talking about the, the chopper now, not, not the vial. Yeah, I'm at the forge, and I'm going to hit the craft button and see <laughs> if he crafts two. I'm going to be real surprised if he does. Yeah, right. oh yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, Doing it live, folks. It, it, it's about the slowest crafting of any mount in the game. It just, like, barely moves along, yeah. you know, just like, yeah. Oh, the suspense. Uh, choppers, yeah, the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're building a chopper. What do you expect? Uh. <laughs> It's an okay. item crafted with love. Right. And this is best you and do, 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 do. chopper two. I just got the one. Okay. No. Oh well, still. All right. Essentially. Yeah, just the one. Right. But last I checked on the auction house, there were over one hundred thirty thousand gold. Mm. So, right. it's so not you- much farming for. Yeah, because the the recipes are not that easy to come by anymore. Mm. Always, I didn't know that. No one, no one levels that rep anymore. 
because no, you can skip right over. I tried to do something in alchemy, and it said you cannot learn this because you're not skilled enough. And yeah, but to level mean, up to three hundred in the old world. Uh, you need uh, seventy-five or ninety, depending. No, well, you need seventy-five in Northrend. You don't need three hundred. You don't. Need, you, you only need one in in in, in, in classic. Yeah. yeah. So. But, but you still need the rep to buy the the, the, the schematic. That's yeah. that's the, the thing, and not many people take the time to to level that slow grind rep because it's not one of the major reps. It's just that it's the same with with the alliance rep in classic. Yeah. If you go to your if you go to your rep window, you yeah. have and you go to classic, you have the factions and you have the overarching alliance rep. Right. Or maybe they removed it, I'm not sure. They had uh, for, as a separate rep before when there are some some cases when you get a a, a a rep reward saying alliance, whatever yeah. amount. And that used to be, I don't see the, the alliance uh, rep bar anymore, mm. but it used to be a, a bar by itself where you could get alliance rep for the entire alliance. My first Horde character made it to Mechagon, and the rep is the same for Horde or Alliance. It's Rust Bulls Resistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know that. Yeah. And, and, with the, and it's the same thing. That's what I wanted to get at. If you open your Wrath of the Lich King rep, yeah. you have two, um, two sets of rep. You have... Mm -hmm. The uh, Argent Crusade, Kirin Tor, yeah. Knights of the Ebon Blade, uh, and all all those that you get. Well, except the Cold Kaluak, you don't, and the, the the Sons of Hodia, you don't have uh, tabards for. But the right. other ones you have tabards for. Right. But and then you have the Alliance Vanguard category, which includes. Yeah. The Explorers League, the Frostborn, yeah. Silver Covenant, and the uh, Valiant no, Expedition. Expedition. Mm. So, what you need, though, is not the Valiant Expedition rep, or the Silver Covenant, or the Frostborn, or the Explorers League, but you need that overarching Alliance Vanguard yeah. rep. Yeah. Mm. So you have to do quests all over the continent and the bombing run over and over. It's I don't know if it's still there. The daily? I don't know. It's still it's it, it's something that uh let me just see before I say something that is not true, but I think that's how it is. But anyway, um bombing run used to be there, um, it says yeah. West Guard Keep. Yeah. In the unlearned tab for me, yeah, it says vendor, and then it gives the name, and it says faction, alliance, vanguard, or uh, alliance vanguard as well for the. Uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's uh, that's either in in Howling Fjord or Borin Tundra, and then the. The respective uh, opposite uh, rep faction for the for the horde, obviously. Mm. Yeah. So that is a really, really long drag to level that rep because, yeah. if I remember correctly, you only get that rep started when either you have. Uh, special, like you said, contracts, special quests that give you the Alliance Vanguard rep, 
or, and this is even worse, <laughs> if, you know, really, if you have all the others yeah. at Exalted, yeah. and they don't give you 15 or 20 or 30 rep per kill, they give you three or five, like, like the goblin uh, rep grind in, in, in classic, in, in vanilla. So it's a really, really long, long grind. Mm. And the easiest way to do it is basically to go and um, do the dailies yeah. in, in, uh, in Northrend because you get a, a certain amount of the rep you get is like the hidden rep you get from the yeah. Alliance Vanguard. Yeah. Or you run dungeons like crazy without a tabard. So if you don't use tabard, you it automatically... The overflow. No, you yeah. automatically get the rep for the four factions that okay. I just mentioned, the League, Frostborn, and so forth. Mm. And once they are exalted, you still get rep, but then for the Vanguard. Right. So it's a, like either or to the third degree. Cool. I remember just because I was so frustrated with the rep, I did almost every quest in Borean Tundra and like 90% of the quests in, uh, in um, the Howling Fjords. Yep. There's just, like, there's just, it was such a slow, yes. slow process. Yep. I look at my special add-on yeah. window and it tells me that uh, uh, where is it? You get, uh, you do the Steel Gate Patrol. That's the flying uh, daily in where you go fly fly over that uh, that uh, what, what is it? Where you fly with that with a flying keep. Where it's card keep, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, you shoot down the gargoyles and 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 get and pick up the three uh, bags or whatnot. Mm -hmm. That one daily, yeah, rewards you sixty-two rep. <laughs> A long ways from exalted. Exactly. So, just just as an example, mm -hmm. yeah. learning the reins. I can't remember what what, but but basically each of the each of the dailies, a blade fit for a champion. That's one up in the uh, at the uh, at the Argent tournament. Yeah, that you you can do those. That gives you again sixty two rep, which is like a uh, drop in the bucket. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's uh, the the biggest ones you get are the the uh, um, the big elite quests, so to speak, from the Argent tournament, like the ones after you finish all the all the um, the rep grind, where you get the the champion seals from, mm -hmm. like um, like battle before the citadel and. Threat from above, with with a, a brilliant favorite, uh, chili more. Ch Ch chili more, yeah. Yeah, more. that 25. gives one hundred hundred and twenty five rep. <clears throat> Jump kill. Yeah, so that's not that's not that much either. So, but it all adds up. It, it all adds up eventually, sure. But again, if you want that that rep. It's gonna be a long, long ride, long, strange trip. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, All right. I th I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to invest in that and see how much other rep I can get done 
before I reach, before I reach exalted with Alliance Vanguard. Mm. How much questing I can get done because I need the, the recipe myself eventually. Or just yeah, yeah, adding. Yeah. So uh, and I've got I've got two out of the bigger bag things. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going next week I'm going to report on and and uh, uh, write down a spread uh, start a spreadsheet yeah on what Wrath of the Lich King quest reward uh, quest achievements um, a status I'm at yeah and and all the rep standings I have oh nice and then I'm going to start uh, doing that much like 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 um, Asheo did a while uh, like all these years back where he did all his projects mm. And oh, I always used to marvel at Stone and Lita's uh, mouth runs every week. Yeah, all that stuff. Yes, yeah. so I, yeah. I think I'm going to to do something like that because I can see that I have quite a bit left. I haven't done a single on this tune. I haven't done a single quest for the Knights of the Ebon Blade. Mm. Yeah. Uh, haven't done hardly anything for the for the Sons of Hold Year, which is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, and nothing, nothing is higher than friendly in, in the entire Wrath of the Lich King expansion for me. So I've got, I've got to go back and get Laughing Orcs all exalted. I'm, I'm having so much fun on my garrison. Yeah, I, I, I did that like a month or two ago. Wow. And, and uh, got. Uh, on, on Tulane, I think I got Laughing Skull. I got that done. Yeah. And I got, uh, was it Aldor? I think it was Aldor. I finished that too. Oh, wow. That's a good so, one. Yeah. Excellent. Now I'm seriously debating whether I'm going to go the other way and get that achievement as well. <laughs> uh, glutton for punishment on that one. Hi. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll yeah. be recording next Monday. Mm-hmm. Good same to me. time, same bat channel, same bat yep. time. Thanks, everybody. Mm-hmm. Curly, good to hear from you. Hope you feel better. But uh, you know, it's always good to play WoW. And uh, yes, yeah, I'll try to get this out tonight so I can share all this goodness. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, chat room. Thanks, Lost Cause. You already always chip in and. Make the podcast better. We appreciate it. Thank you, Lost Cost. Thank you, Matterhorn, for Matter. being here. Yep. And congrats, Matter, for all the leveling. Oh, yeah. I was just about oh, yes. to say. Yeah. 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 You're, you're a leveling demon. Oh, yeah. And that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> being and, a demon isn't, isn't necessarily bad. Of course not. Right. I have several demons. I'm a warlock. My demons oh, are yeah. my best friends. Me too. So <laughs> yeah, I was stable. Yeah, I was stable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is a brilliant for the horde. And this is Constructs for the professions. This has been Grand Nagus. Rule of acquisition number nineteen. Satisfaction is not guaranteed. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, chat room. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. You guys are the best.